not you that is Rasulullah, I would not have had created the aflaq, the creation, etc. everything. Or elsewhere says that Walawla Aliyun Lama Khalaq took. And if Ali wasn't there, I would not have created Rasul, that is Ahmad. And again continues and says that Walawla Fatima Lama Khalaq tukuma. And if Fatima was not there, I would not have had created you, Ali, and you, the Prophet. So how much do we understand these sayings? That's an issue. And if we do understand whether or not can we digest them, that is another issue. Again, the same thing is with Ziyarat Jama'at al Kabira, if you look into it, how loud Ma'asumin have spoken about the authority, the rights which they possess. For example, it says that Bikum Fatahallah, that Allah has opened everything for you, the Ayanna. Because we have a similar saying, it says that Lawla Hum Lama Khulaq al Afna, that if it wasn't for the sake of you, the Ayanna, the creation would never have had opened. Or in easier words, the Hadith al Kisa, which we recite every now and then, there it says that it is for the love of Rasul, Allah has created everything. And in the same Hadith al Kisa, when we see Allah, He comes and introduces Hazrat Zahra. How does He introduce? says that he wants to introduce the five members. Says, Hum Fatima. And then Abuha, father of Fatima, husband of Fatima, and the children of Fatima. So initially he says everything has been created for the Prophet. When it comes to the introduction, says, I've created everything for a soul. And who is he? Father of Fatima. And then husband of Fatima is Ali, children of Fatima is Ali Hassanin. In reality, in reality, everything has been created for her. Or as I said that the Alame Hastika Nichor. So in reality, everything has been created for her. Again, if you look into the uh, the riwayat that we have with reference to. Says that, Ya Fatima, whosoever sends a salawat on you, that is, upon Hazrat Zahra, Allah will send his mercy, will forgive him, and then in addition to that mercy and forgiveness which will be given to her, to that person who sends that salawat on her, says that Allah will bring that person to me in the paradise wheresoever I will be. <coughs> Just for that one recital of salawat which is sent upon Rasul and that is addressed and given in two of the design of So in reality, everything has been created for her because she is the, um, the pivot of the entire creation of Allah. If you look into the Ahadith again, it says that the house of Fatima, it's a very humble house. If you look into the replica that has been made of it in Iran or some of the pictures that you can find on the internet, it's a very humble house and the, the crockery or the cutlery, the term also it's too big for the, the, the things which, were, which existed in that house, a few pots made of clay, but this house of Hazrat Zahra, Riwayat says, say that the roof of this house is Arshullah. It's the throne of Allah. And again, amazing ahadith, they say that there has been a constant 
uh, arrival, a constant downpour of malaika every now and then. So malaika, they frequent into this house of Hazrat Zara. Now again, the same Hadith Al-Qun, Hadith Al-Kisa, which we talk about, it's not a narration that she is narrating of what has happened. It's not an incident which she is reporting. She has revelations herself. So it is something which she is saying what has happened in that house that Jibreel comes. Again, one of the iftikharat, one of the honors that we have of being a Shia is that we believe in that Mus'haf Fatima, which is a book given to her. Now what is that book? It's no ahkam, it's no um, do's and don'ts present in that book. It's the revelations which Allah Taala has to her. And all that knowledge of the past, of that, all that knowledge of the future, everything has been mentioned in that Mus'haf Fatima. It's amazing. And again, among the iftikharat that we have, it's this tasbih of Hazrat Zahra. Rasulullah he says that if there was any other recital better than this recital, which is tasbih, I would have given that to her. An amazing, amazing effects, azar, this tasbih has. One of the basic things which, we, which the fuqaha, they say that a person who recites this one tasbih, which is 34 times Allah, 33 times Alhamdulillah, 33 times SubhanAllah, after his prayers, may that be wajib or may that be mustahab. Automatically, that prayer of his multiplies by 200. Just because of that one tasbih, which is connected and related to Hazrat Zahra With reference to Hazrat Zahra, Rasulullah, he says that that he says that Ummukuma, your mother, that is to, ad addressing to Imam Mujtaba and Abu Abdullah and Hussein, says that your mother she is Lisanul Mizan. Mizan, it's the scale of balance. Lisan, it's that tongue which measures the two scales of that balance. Says to Imam Hassan and Hussain that your mother is that tongue of that scale of balance. She has to be there to measure the good and bad. So the measure, the balance, the mizan, the scale is her. And it's our honor that we are related to her. And the more the connection we have with her, the more we benefit. And again, there is this hadith I may have recited over here from quoting from Kamil al Ziyara. There says that with reference to her on the day of judgment, when everything will have taken place and the doors of the paradise will open and she enters the paradise, she stops. Rasulullah says that, did anyone stop you, Zahra? She says, no. Is there a barrier that does not, that, that does not let you in? says, no. She says, what am I going to do there all alone? He says that, what do you want? How do you want your pleasure to be sought? She says, I want everyone who was related to me, who served me, who cried for me, who was with me in all the joy and all the um, sad occasions with us, who shed tears for me and my son, I want all of them with me in this paradise. So again, that great lady with that great position which she possesses, this is the, the more the marifa we have, the more we benefit from them. So we have to try and do something that this level of understanding, level of marifa regarding Ahlul Bayt, it increases in us. Again, the second occasion that we have today, it is the starting of the recitation of Quran, of Muzammil, and that again, it's a very auspicious occasion, a very Mubarak occasion. With reference to Qur'an, Qur'an it has a haqiqat, it has a reality which we don't seem to understand. With reference to Qur'an, because it is the word of Allah, like Allah who is eternal, who is forever, who is everlasting, who is ever living, the word of Allah is also the same. Or in other words, Allah Taala, He possesses all those attributes of perfection, Jamal and Kamal. Quran, it's a reflection of that existence of Allah. Now for us, no 